thought you were chuckling before you start this. Kara, this <laughs> sad piece I have for you today is absurd. I cannot wait. Um, I love the weird ones. It is so such much. a weird one. Hey guys, this is the Witches, oh, yeah. Magic, Murder, and Mystery Podcast. Hey guys, I'm Kara. I'm Megan. And we are here on a Tuesday. Yeah, so Tuesday are the shorter episodes in case you're new here. Welcome. Anything that Don't we, run. Anything that we can't find enough for a full episode on, it becomes a side piece and mm-hmm. we put them here. So this story <laughs> was sent in by one of our listeners, Sierra. Uh, I love it when this happens. I do too. She sent us an Instagram message and she was like, hey y'all. I just learned about liver eating Johnson. Oh my God. I remember seeing this, I think but I, I never looked into I this. I think I screen capped it and sent it to you. Yes. Like this, just the message makes me giggle. But yes. I just learned about liver eating Johnson <laughs> that scalped more than 300 Crow Indians to take revenge into his own hands for murdering his wife. Not sure if this falls into your category, but honestly, it's just a crazy story to read about. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra, you know us. So oh well. my God! Right? Yeah. Like Sierra understands the assignment. Yes. We want every weird story. Weird story. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that you. Yeah. Get. Um. So let's break it down. His name is Liver Eating Johnson. Mm-hmm. He is known for killing three hundred Native Americans. Three hundred. And he killed them because his wife was murdered to get revenge. Uh, okay. Now none of that explains why he's called liver, liver eating, eating johnson, johnson. and yeah. i think that's the part that made me laugh the hardest i was like i i've he read loved, this three times i still loved, don't know why he's called that he loved them chicken livers <laughs> you just fry them right yeah. up so yeah my favorite part of this is that sierra was like i don't know if this fits I but i yeah. just felt like you should know the story and i'm yeah. like yes yeah we did thank you we did need to know so now let me introduce you all to liver eating johnson mr johnson who has quite possibly the worst name of all time <laughs> he was born in 1824. Okay. And this may come as a bit of a surprise to you, but Liver Eating Johnson is not the name his mama gave him. What? <laughs> what? You don't say. <laughs> he was born John Jeremiah Garrison Johnston. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> John Jeremiah Garrison Johnston. And... <laughs> His oh. name is my name, too. His name is Liver Eating Johnson. And every okay. week, people are who shout. That's not his real name. It's Mama gave him. God, I love you so much. Okay. He was born in Little York, New Jersey. Okay. He stayed there until he was old enough to leave New Jersey and enlist in the Navy, okay. just as the Mexican-American War was beginning. Mm. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. military life was not... For it John Jeremiah Garrison Johnston. Him? No, he didn't like it. Oh. He hit an officer. Did he? Mm-hmm. With his hands. Oh. And then he fled. <laughs> with his hands. With his hands. <laughs> and then he fled. Like okay. he became a deserter, which is very much a he, no-no. He bo dolled it. So he <laughs> basically went on the run after that. <laughs> this part. <laughs> when I was writing this last night, I was giggling so hard. So he went on the run after that. He moved out west. He went to where he'd never been before. And away from everyone he'd ever known. And he changed his name. To Tater Tot. No. <laughs> so his real name is John Johnston. Okay. Right? He changes his name to avoid. Right. Confusion. John Johnson. He just took the tea. <laughs> oh, John. Man. In order to stay in hiding, he was like, they'll never Don't suspect call me a thing. Smith. <laughs> I'm not going to no, be no, John no, no. Johnston. I no, re- no. I removed the G. I'm John Johnson. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. You got me confused. I'm John Johnson. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Sorry. You may have heard You couldn't come up with something better? Stutter. <sighs> I didn't say the T. Yeah. Don't call me Megan Whitmer. Whimmer. <laughs> Whimmer. <laughs> Just spit everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even notice because I was laughing so hard. Okay. Um, Megan Whimmer. All right. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, pause. when I was picking up pictures, remember when you used to get film developed at Walmart mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. wherever? I was there to pick up pictures from a horse show one time. And over the loudspeaker, my last name was Kingsland. Over the loudspeaker, Kara Kino plan? Kara plan? Kino plan. Your pictures are ready. So for a long time, I made people call me Kara Kino plan. <laughs> Kingsland? Kino, Kino plan. plan. Okay. Yeah. 
So I can see how he right. like, easily. So anyway, okay. Back so, to the story. Out West in Montana is where he met his future wife. And I never found her name. I looked everywhere. Oh. Can't find her name. But she was a member of the Flathead Indian tribe. And I feel like every time I say Indian, I should say Native American, except in the that. The articles are calling it. Well, but when it says the Flathead Indian tribe, I'm like, yeah. ah. So I'm not sure. Um, please forgive me if I'm right not using the right yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. Um, John built them a cabin to live in, which I thought was really sweet. Like, he yeah. built them a house with his own hands. His wife became pregnant. Like, everything seemed like it's working out. He's got that great, um, what's the name when you have a fake name? Pseudonym. Alias. 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 Alter ego. He's got that great alias <laughs> yeah, that yeah. no one will ever suspect is him. Yes. It seems like things are going to be okay. Things are going well for him. But then, mm. <laughs> mm, one day <laughs> in 1847, when John wasn't home, a group of the, it's like the Crow tribe. Right. A group of those men attacked his home. Oh, no. Killing his wife. Was he living on their land? I don't it know. Doesn't it say. doesn't okay. say. Okay. They killed his wife and burned the cabin to the ground. Oh, my God. It was then that John vowed to kill every member of the Crow tribe to get revenge. Oh. So, Mm -hmm. over the next 25 years. 25? mm -hmm. I mean, they murdered his wife and unborn child, you know? Oh, it's true. I mean, I'm still, 25 years is a lot. Like, I guess, I don't know if they had therapists in 1847. He's still mourning. He's still mourning. Good Lord. Um... Meditate, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't Yoga? Yeah. Herbal okay. herbal medicinal <laughs> things. Get some oils. <laughs> yeah. Dab them on your wrists. <laughs> he, I it's good to place them behind your ears. I don't know. <laughs> he tracked he tracked and murdered three hundred crow men. My God. He would kill them outright where he found them. <gasps> and then if he didn't find them, he would leave like poisoned food and blankets behind. To hopefully get the ones he didn't. Oh my gosh. So not only did he kill and scalp these men, he also cut out each of their livers and ate them. Mm. Therefore, that is how he became liver eating Johnson. Johnson. Here's an important piece of information. The crow people believe the liver to be very important. It was essential to enter the afterlife. So by eating the livers. They couldn't. He was. Move on. Destroying their chance in an afterlife. Oh, Finally, it all came to an end when Liver Eating Johnson was captured by the Blackfoot tribe. They were going to sell him to the crow. And so they tied him up and left him with a guard. But Liver Eating Johnson managed to escape. Oh. He knocked out the guard, scalped him, and cut off one of his (gasps) legs. And then he ran into the woods and he ate the leg. Oh. Liver. Liver leg eating. And leg eating Johnson. Yeah. Oh, man, oh, man. Somehow after that... Johnson and the Crow tribe called a truce. And Wait, again, what? I know it was like, <laughs> that was sudden. But I think it's um, when they I just will raise their white flags. <laughs> I, I looked at a few different articles and, and nobody really knows why they called a truce. I'm going to get to more <laughs> of this later in a second. But they said that there was a lot of warring just between tribes in general. And oh, so okay. it was kind of like, we're over just this. Call a truce yeah. this. And then they ended up becoming like very accepting of each other. What? I don't know if after 25 years, the Crow tribe was like, you know, I guess we shouldn't have killed us. Yeah. We, 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 we did do that. That's yeah. Right. Or if it's like, we can't keep worrying about this dude. Let's just call a truce. Yeah. We've we're got now other having things to pay to for our about. ancestors. And maybe for his side, he got captured by the Blackfoot tribe mm-hmm. and he was just like, ooh. Or maybe like he escaped the Blackfoot. So then the Crow tribe was like, oh, like he has some like crazy powers. Yeah. Like we need to call a truce he's with him because he's still killing and eating every our people. Yeah. We don't want to mess with this dude. Yeah. So they called a truce and he goes to St. Louis in 1864 where he joined. What? I know. <laughs> Listen. He's all over the place. Yes. He joined the Company H, 2nd Colorado Cavalry of the Union Army. I do not know how, when he went on the run. He went AWOL. Right. But that was when he was John Johnston. Oh, so now John Johnson. <laughs> they're liver like, eating this guy's Johnson. Fine. Liver and leg eating Johnson. We'll take this guy. And then he was honorably <laughs> discharged a year later. Stop it. <laughs> he then moved to... They just must have not kept good records I, then. I mean, it was 1864. <laughs> he then moved to Colson, Montana. Mm-hmm. And was appointed deputy sheriff. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And then he became the town (laughs) marshal of Red Lodge, Montana. Huh. He he became a lawman. So he 
had a variety of he, jobs over the course of his life. I just want you to listen. Okay. <laughs> Sailor, which we already knew. He didn't do well right. that. Soldier, again. Uh-huh. Hunter, trapper, builder. What, uh, were these the humans that he was hunting and trapping? Or this is <laughs> animals? Okay. Probably both. And he built the house, so he's uh-huh. calling a builder. This is the resume he built for himself? Gold digger. Mm-hmm. Um, whiskey peddler. Oh. And here's my favorite one. Okay. Tour guide. <laughs> Tour guide? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like in the middle. Like, he's like this murdering, cannibalistic, turns into law crazy. enforcement. And he's like, on your left here, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> the saloon. And, um... That's where I murdered three of them right there. So Here's the, where my cabin used to be. I don't know, guys. See these ashes on the ground? <laughs> I'm going to take... Guys? Y'all climb into my wagon here. I'm going to take you on this little stroll. He's like, come on now. Yo! And then he's I turning just... around in his <laughs> seat, the wooden seat that they've got up in the front. And he's like, now, if you look to your right, you're going to see the Blackfoot tribe. We've he's made wearing a, like a goofy hat. We've made a peace treaty with them. Oh, man. Oh, my it's God. an aluminum foil hat. He just, <laughs> he just sits up there and like tries to make small talk. You know how they always look. Y'all curious. want any fried livers? <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew I could not like, wait to tell you this he's story. Got the, instead, like instead of a pointer, he's pointing with the leg, the foot, oh, the bones of the foot, and he's like pointing in the directions. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> 75% of the reason why I'm able to laugh so hard at this story is because I don't think any of it's true. No. I mean, well, I'll get to that in a second. But just so just so you all know, I do not believe he killed 300 Native Americans. Eight, they would have killed him within livers. seconds. And the leg thing is the part <laughs> where I'm like, we've just officially jumped the shark here. He did not <laughs> run off into the woods with, with a leg. leg to eat it. <laughs> None no, of that no, happened. No, no. None of it. Okay. So <laughs> he finally ended up in a veteran's home in Santa Monica, California. Oh, telling his tales. And he was buried in a Los Angeles veteran cemetery in Jan- on January 21st, 1900. Now, in 1974, a group of seventh graders led a six-month campaign to have liver-eating Johnson's body moved to Cody, Wyoming. The campaign <laughs> was a success. Oh, was it? And Robert Redford, who played the role oh of liver-eating Johnson in the movie <gasps> Jeremiah Johnson. Oh. Once I read that, I was like, wait, I know that movie. Yeah. Jeremiah Johnson. I mean, it's a fictionalized version. Right. But that is liver-eating Johnson. So oh, Robert Redford played gosh, him in a Robert movie. Robert Redford. And was a pallbearer when wow. they moved his remains to wow. Wyoming. Wow. The thing is, I don't really know why. And I yeah. tried. I, I looked several different places. And no, they all the articles are like, these seventh graders did a great job. They got him moved. But why? Why? Yeah. I mean, I guess they, because he would have been happier. I don't know. But yeah. why Cody, Wyoming? What's, yeah. I don't know. And that's, that's the end. <laughs> so then oh. my last thing here, I was like, how much of this story do we think is true? Okay. So... I looked into it a little more uh, uh-huh. this morning. Okay. And it seems like, so Liver Eating Johnson is a real person right. that existed. Yes. For sure. Mm-hmm. That's not a problem. But they think the legend around him is more of his own doing. Right. That he would tell people these stories. In the military and it just kind of spread. Yes. Yeah. And also, like, people described him as, like, very... Well, they said he was moody, but they said when he was in a good mood, he was really like chatty and like friendly and, okay. and whatever. So it almost seems so he was like, like Dr. he's just Jekyll a storyteller. Yeah. yeah, he's just entertaining. Like, yeah, I don't think he ever murdered anyone. Um, there is a little bit of confusion over whether he actually ever had a wife who was murdered or not. That's what I was going to say. You can't find a name on her. You mm-hmm. can't find any like. But because she was a member of, of like, she was Native American, okay. maybe they they didn't have those kind of records. I don't know. That's true because it's Back very then. hard. Like once my grandfather's mother Mm -hmm. she doesn't come into like the ancestry stuff until she married my grandfather's dad oh so and then i mean it was like a just a random like yeah her name was like nanny or something yeah she could have existed (laughs) yeah and i hate i I don't want to make light of the fact that he may have had a wife who was murdered and how you know horrible that would have been it's just that if he got his revenge and killed one Native yeah. American, yeah, yeah, but the liver eating thing, 
Yeah. Um, a few articles I read, again, no one really knows for sure. But the theory is, like, that's a story he told to kind of build up his own legend. Right. For a few different reasons. One, just to have a story to tell. Yes. But another one to kind of give off this air of, like, you should be afraid of me. Yeah, don't like, mess with me. Yeah. 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 Do we really think that he escaped from the Blackfoot tribe? No. No. And I don't think he ate anybody's leg. No, I don't. I do think that he probably did become, like, law enforcement or whatever. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. And tour guide. And tour guide. <laughs> I for sure believe the tour guide. I just love the idea that he's a tour because guide. Because if he's a, he's that good of a storyteller. It makes no sense. Also, in the 1800s, y'all needed tour guides? What? Yeah. What, what are, are you all touring? touring? I don't know. It's not like we're going to California to tour all the celebrities' houses. No. Where were you all going? It's amazing. You went from, like, one side of town to the other. Here's the love- doctor. <laughs> Here's the barber. Here's the local grocer. Let me take you on here's, this 10-foot tour. Let's go. Here's the bakery. Here's <laughs> the saloon. The saloon and the bank. And now we're going back around. Here's the bank. Here's the saloon. Here's the grocery. Here's the doctor. Here's the barber. And That'll be a nickel. <laughs> I'll drop you off at the bakery so you can get yourself a muffin. Uh, Sierra, thank you for sending yes, us that story. For you all just the can't believe how much entertainment it has given me. Yeah. And it really is interesting to read about. And there's a lot of things. <clears throat> there are books written about him. And then there's there's a whole article about the parallels between the Jeremiah Johnson movie right. and the books. And, you know, everybody's yeah. trying to figure out, like, what part is true. Is Yeah. And you have to draw your own conclusions. Yeah. So. That's too funny. I could not wait. I was like, I, oh, it's going to be great to tell Kara this story. I love that <laughs> so much. Uh, thanks for sending in stories, yeah, you guys. You we can love find it so us much. at yep, which is magic murder mystery at gmail dot com, mm-hmm. and also on Instagram. And our link tree is there with all the links to every other possible way you can contact us. <laughs> yes, we will ha- be back Friday with yep. a new episode, a new one. Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye.